Tell you right, it's good to be here. I'm excited about this. It's about compost and recycle, landfill. That's a lot of choices. I've had this plastic cup in my hand for about four hours. I just can't commit to one of them. I'll probably end up taking it home with me. Chris said, could you do a, a squeaky clean five minutes? I said, it'll be clean. I don't know how squeaky. I caught a glimpse of myself backstage just now. I realized that if I were to become homeless tonight, I don't think I'd have to go home to change. <laughs> Sometimes you just grab the wrong jacket in life. A little bit too much denim, but if I fall asleep waiting for the gondola later and I wake up in the morning, I'll be like, that was the right outfit for falling asleep and tell you right. So I don't know anything about politics, religion, or relationships, so we're not going to talk about any of that for the next few minutes. I'm against marriage. I have a ring right there to prove it. I had my suspicions, but sometimes in life you just need confirmation. It has, in fact, been confirmed. I have tinnitus. My ears are ringing right now, and they have been for about five years. So if you hear that, it's me. But if you get home and yours are still ringing, then it's on you. That's something you need to look into. I'm not going to do anything this afternoon that can cause tinnitus. I'm not going to yell in anybody's ear. There'll be no loud music. And if I'm ever getting into a car with friends, and I know that I might be firing a gun, I immediately tell everyone in the car that there's a gun in play. I don't want to get a call in a month from a buddy like, my ears still ringing, I can't believe you fired that gun. It's like I told you right when I got in the car that there was a chance I'd be firing a gun. And you just laughed and turned up NPR, so now you have tinnitus. I sleep with a white noise machine every night of my life. Once again, that's my wife. Very soothing, it's like the ocean when she talks. I crawl into bed, I ask her about her day, and I'm asleep in about two minutes, so. So I can't hear right now. I also cannot see. I have astigmatism. It is completely blurry at the moment, which seems to help me focus, so this is pretty good. I should be wearing glasses, but I can't commit to frames, so this is where I'm at. I can't hear right now or see. So if someone needs to heckle me, I got to be honest with you, I won't be able to hear you or see you. So work through it quickly on your own. <laughs> the only time I actually can see is when I'm swimming in the ocean and I go under the water and open my eyes. For some reason, then and only then, clear, crystal clear. So I guess my prescription is ocean which is expensive and probably pretty heavy. <laughs> Sometimes, even when I'm on land, I'll take a handful of salt and I'll just throw it in my eyes, <laughs> see what happens. It's still pretty blurry, so I, it's a water pressure thing. <laughs> I've talked to optometrists all over the world. Why? Why can I only see clearly under the water? And eventually, every one of them has just said, Amphibian, maybe. <laughs> so I got that going on in my head. One of them said, watch Shape of Water. See if that triggers anything for you. <laughs> I think eventually, like in about 10 years, I'm not going to do it before then, because I'll probably be waiting for the gondola. <laughs> but I'm going to go under the water. About 10 feet, that feels optimal. And just take a deep breath. See what happens. 
If it feels right, I'll just keep going. Maybe kick myself for not having tried it sooner. Maybe just go all the way to Hawaii. It's like, how was your flight? I walked here, man. Took about two months, saw a lot of great things. I could use a towel. He was coming out to tell me I was at the five-minute mark. That was his job. Pretty good at it. Now I have one minute, so I have to finish strong. Part of me wants to just stare and take in the beauty of you and tell you why. But I'll tell you this, so you know a little bit about me. I wear a blindfold every night when I go to bed. I like to feel that if I'm kidnapped in my sleep, it'll cut down on the beatings. I'm also susceptible to eye infections, Chilesians, pink eye. Got long eyelashes. Collects oil. It's a curse. It's also a blessing. You don't want little short, stubby eyelashes in life. But my biggest fear in life is to be kidnapped without my blindfold. <laughs> I have to wear a dirty blindfold. <laughs> Wake up with swollen eyes. <laughs> then I'll be on 60 Minutes just with big eyes. They'll be like, it looks like they beat you pretty bad. No, just a dirty blindfold. Picked up pink eye pretty quick. I think I fulfilled my obligation to this event. <laughs> you guys, thank you very much. Tell me what. The amazing Kirk Fox. Where does it go? Where does it go? Where does it go?